This is a friend's computer that uh, he asked me to check out and this is a bit of a dinosaur. This is a Windows Vista machine and it wouldn't power up and he took it to Staples or something and they told him that, you know, replace it. And I said, well, you know, let me have a look. So I blew it all out. It was completely packed with dust. You couldn't even see the uh, fins there under the under the fan. I mean, it was uh, it was. I think it's a smoker smoker computer. So anyway, I blew blew it out and um, wouldn't power up. So I tried unplugging the main board and shorting the green wire to the black, and the drive would spin up. So I started debating whether it was the motherboard that went bad or the. Uh, or this, so I, I pulled this apart and I just wanted to share these capacitors. The, the, these two are obviously okay. Well, not obviously, but they look okay. And those down there look okay, but look at those two. Completely ruptured. And let's see what we got over here. These are all shot too, except one. And I can get a side view so you can see how bubbled up the tops are. This is China at its finest. So you can see that one there is all bubbled up. And those there are all bubbled up. Come on, focus, there you go. So we got one, one, two, three, uh, four, five, that one looks okay, uh, six, seven. I'm gonna see if I can replace them because you know, there's plenty of junk TVs and stuff around here, so I'm going to see if I can replace these instead of drive down to Fry's to get this thing. This thing's probably only 25 or 30 bucks, but the hassle of getting to where Fry's is located is worth the time to try and recap this. And it's a fun project. Why not? You get a brand on these here. They're uh, l -Tech. l -Tech. and this power supply is AC Bell it's only a uh, 300 watt so it's not it's nothing special but uh, yeah, let's change some caps okay here's the capacitors that I've changed and here's a moment of truth. Now this little light LED was on before as well as the one in the back right here. So we'll push the power button and see what happens. That's what we want to see. Now I just pulled these capacitors out of these old uh, Big screen TVs that I've EOL, they have a ton of capacitors. And yeah, they're probably not the ultra low ESR ones that that a computer would want, but hey. Now the complaint on this was he said that it was working fine and there was a power outage and it didn't come back up after the power outage. Well the reason why is because all these capacitors, you probably never turn it off. I would imagine it just stays on 24-7 and when it crashed it didn't or when the power went off uh, these capacitors were so bad that the thing wouldn't restart so what's interesting are some of the date codes on these capacitors I don't know if I'm reading them wrong let me find them here like this one 
this one here which is a 2200 8603 this one right here 8122 so there they are so let's see that one got changed those two those two got changed those two got changed those two got changed that one got changed and that one I didn't change and also these little tiny ones like those two right there I don't think those swell up when they go bad so I'm just gonna assume they're not bad for now so you can tell they're bad if they're swollen, but you, if they're not swollen, they can still be bad. So this is a bit of a, a crappy way to do this. I should probably just change them all, but uh, at this point, it's already taken me a good two hours to do this because it's so tight. So, see there's a couple small ones down there. So at this point, I would be probably cost effective just to buy another power supply. So it boots right up and seems to work pretty good. A um, little bit disappointed to see Google Chrome on here. Uh, to me Google Chrome is nothing more than a big piece of spyware that uploads everything you do direct to Google, but I could be wrong with that. It's not something I use. I like Firefox, but I guess it's all a, all a uh, matter of personal preference. The other thing is this uh, hard drive has just been kind of grinding away here for about the past 15 minutes. It doesn't seem like it wants to stop. So I don't know if that's uh, it's because it's overloaded with applications and, and uh, or, or spyware or maybe it's Google Chrome, you know, uh, scanning the entire hard drive and uploading it all to Google. But uh, seems like it's working pretty good, so we'll just, uh, looks like it's kind of calming down a little bit. Yeah, it's, uh, it's calming down. I'll just let it run for a few hours, and then I'll let it cool off overnight, and we'll try it in the morning, and if it passes a test well we'll uh, we'll give it on back to them and they can continue to use it so there's a uh, kind of the spur of the moment unplanned Dell uh, I don't even know what Dell this is Windows Vista computer uh, power supply recap partial recap replace all the swollen caps that did not work didn't do anything at all and now works there you go. There, that's what it is. It's an Inspiration 530, 64-bit, 4 gigs of RAM. It's not too bad, I guess.